go ahead and open the box. And this is for the Smith & Wesson MMP 9, which you will see in my previous video. I actually um, did a short review on that. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so it looks like we got a bunch of um, advertisements. Pretty good packaging. And there it is. So it is made by Galco, and this is actually the Triton holster Kydex. See if I can focus in on here for you. Galco Triton Kydex in the waistband holster for the Smith & Wesson MP9 or the 40. The model number is TR472, right-handed black. I'm not sure if you can see on that, but generally uh, looks like you can use it between a three to five o'clock position. Now, I have noticed that uh, some people have done some online videos where, reviews, where you can actually also appendix carry this holster as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into focus. Okay. Uh, you know, again, nothing fancy. Uh, one of the nice things I do like about Galco is um, they're very solidly made. And, of course, uh, made right here in the U.S. of A., which is always very nice. It's definitely a lot better quality than, uh, you know, what you would find, you know, made in China, for example. Okay, so, as you can notice here on the back, this is basically where it goes um, onto the body here. Let's see if I can go ahead and focus on that. It is the Calco TR472. Kydex is actually uh, made very well here. Looks pretty solid. Okay. Now I have seen a lot of reviews online where they do talk about the belt clip here. I personally think that they actually swap this out into the wrong direction where, the, where it clips on because typically if you do clip it on here and when you do draw the holster might come off but I'm gonna say the belt clip is uh, it's it's on there pretty tight so I guess it really depends on how well you have the retention here on these two little nuts yeah not that bad the uh, the belt clip is uh, obviously plastic I want to say uh, kind of looks pretty good. They have also an extended high-rise uh, sweat guard here. Let's go, let's go ahead and try it with the pistol. Okay, here is the Smith & Wesson MMP9 that I did a review in my recent video. Let's go ahead and safety check. Okay, nothing in the mag. Also, no brass in the chamber as well. So let's go ahead. Okay, so it does fit pretty snug. It's got a very low profile as well. What I'm gonna do is, let's see if I can grab some close-ups here. It does look that it's molded perfectly for the MMP. Profile is pretty good too. I really like that. Now it does have the barrel where it sticks out. So if you did actually want to go with an aftermarket barrel, lone wolf for example, threaded barrel, maybe for a suppressor, maybe maybe even a compensator, you can probably do that as well. And it's not actually going to uh, hinder your options in getting a different barrel. Um, this is basically the standard 
retention. It's pretty good. It locks in fairly nice. You do have to give it a nice little tug on it for it to come out. Now for the extended sweat guard here, it actually, what's really nice is it actually has this little lip right here. So it won't catch on your skin when you pull the rear sights from the body. Let's go ahead and see if I can focus a little bit better on that for you. There we go. So that's sweat guard actually angles as well to cover the rear sight. And of course this area is where your body's gonna be. As you can see when you draw out that little indent right here helps kind of protect the, uh, the rear sights. Just fairly nice. Very nice quality. Now I don't know what type of uh, width of the Kydex it is, but typically I want to see it's going to be maybe 0 0.08. Could be wrong. Obviously you can probably find that on uh, the Galco website. And again, if you did actually want to switch out the retention of the holster, you can actually use a flathead screwdriver and basically what you would do is right here as you can see right um, right where the trigger guard here where it locks into it it is angled a little bit more inner inward so actually snaps and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver see if we can loosen it up a little bit Still a little tight, so why don't we go ahead and oh yeah. So this right now is already installed. As you can see, it's already here in the appendix dial. Let's go ahead and do a safety check first. Nothing in the magwell. And no brass in the chamber. Not sure if you can see that, but on my end, there is no brass in the chamber. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how it looks. Um, you will obviously print a little bit here in the front uh, with this MNP9 full size. You will notice that the grip is going to be printing out a little bit here on the right side. Obviously, I am a right-handed uh, shooter. It will bulge out a little bit, not too much, maybe about an inch or so. I am wearing a large uh, t-shirt, which I generally use for concealed carry, but uh, it varies, I believe, from uh, different um, uh, brands of t-shirts that you wear. But obviously during the winter time, probably not a big deal. You know, wear a jacket over it or maybe a sweatshirt and never be able to see it. But I think uh, if I do go outside during the summertime, I can't, I can't actually get away with this. Uh, Shouldn't be able to print too bad. Generally, people don't usually look for people who's carrying, so I think this should be okay. So basically, if I were to draw, grab the shirt from this way, this position up, hand in. And as you can obviously see, the draw is actually fairly smooth. And I was actually playing around with this, and you don't really have to use a whole lot of pressure or movement in order to reholster. Obviously it doesn't have a full mag in here so there's not a whole lot of weight coming down but without the mag, a fully loaded mag, you can actually just let it drop down. Maybe push it down a little bit, make it snug, make sure, and you're good to go. And as you can probably tell from this as well, actually I'll get to this in a second. What we're gonna do is let's go ahead and take a look at the Glock 19. And I was just wondering, you know, if I could actually use the Glock with the Pendix carry, uh, since I don't have an actual holster for the Glock 19 um, 
for an appendix only for uh, maybe like the three or four o'clock position. So let's go ahead and do a safety check here. No mag inserted and no brass in the chamber here. And I checked it already. So basically to reholster, the Glock 19 actually fits fairly snug inside this Smith & Wesson MP9 holster too. And as you can see, it pulls out of the holster fairly well. And to reholster, my initial thoughts is that it, it is actually a fairly nice holster. So what I initially did was, with this belt here, which is actually uh, created by John Willis of Original SOE. Go check him out, they made great stuff there. Uh, a lot of great belts. Overall, I actually do really like this holster. Uh, one of the other bonuses is that since I do have a Glock 19, it actually fits that as well. I would definitely recommend this holster. And also, as I mentioned earlier, I actually did use a uh, file to file some, some of the sides down here. Let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in on that. Probably not the best zoom there, but as you can probably tell from earlier, it was obviously a lot higher here. It raised up a little bit here and then it raised up again over there. So I basically flattened that out. Nice.